evening, fine employees and patrons of Amalgamated Industries, and welcome to Amalgamated Baseball Grounds here in Schenectady, New York, for tonight's game between the Chicago t toppers and Amalgamated Baseball Holdings. At this time, we would like to introduce the batting order, starting lineup, of the visiting Chicago t toppers Batting first, the second baseman, number five, Lavender Saddlebag. Batting second, left fielder, number 23, Humpty Poole. Batting third, the first baseman, number 13, Crispy Yellow. Batting fourth, the catcher, number 14, Moopy Poundcake. Batting fifth, the shortstop, number 35, Cowie Bangus. Batting sixth, the center fielder, number 12, Ren Bugby. Batting 7th, the 3rd baseman, number 11, Ainsley Snakewacker. Batting 8th, the right fielder, number 22, Jim Barron. And batting 9th, the pitcher, number 20, Flip D. Hammond. And let's give a good work mandated cheer for Amalgamated Baseball Holding. Here they are in their fielding positions at right field. Number 2, Orlando Dwin. The shortstop, number eight, Bobson Dugnut. The left fielder, number 22, Glenn Allen Mixon. The center fielder, number 24, it's Mike Truck. At third base, number 49, Ortiz Ranchers. The second baseman, number 12, Ick Flory. The catcher, number 19, Raul Chamberlain. The first baseman, number 37, Willie Dustis. And taking the mound, the starting pitcher for tonight's game, number 36, Sean Fercott. And even though there is work in the morning, let's pretend there is not and give a good cheer to last throughout the evening for our beloved ABH. Company Baseball Team. Well, after a lengthy, after a lengthy, uh, road, road trip to start the season off, it's good to be Baseball. back here at Amalgamated Baseball Grounds, of course, it's the second, uh, three-game series with the Chicago t Toddlers, the home opening series. Amalgamated Baseball Holdings, ah. one and all, and all. Hmm. After going three and three on the road. Games with Pittsburgh and Milwaukee. And some good home cooking. Uh, but not very long before they hit the road to head up. A quick one, two, and a three inning. Not that is also going to be a quick out. Now we bang it. Diving on that. Quite the bigger. Inside. Second baseman. Taking off the 
And this is how we bang it. Oh, that first one down. Wow. Facing an all into account. And that's going to be high up in the air. Easy play for Fakot. The pitch out. And it's out for number two for how we bang it. Here is Ren Bugby, the center fielder. No relation to Dimble Bugby. And that's been easy. One, two, three inning. Once again for the T Tartarus. Only the one hit. Really with no hits so far. Pardon me, I was misreading my notes. Out Dim Barron. He is shown for caught. Big strikeout for him. This is his first of the day. And here is the pitcher spot. Split E. Hammond. That is foul for one on one count. Foul ball. Making good contact is Hammond, however, going foul. Another one. Three out of four of these pitches have gone foul. foul. Yet again, well, it might as well be deja vu. And he's going to strike him out swinging, so that will bring an end to the third inning for the t Tartlers. The ABH team will, in fact, go up the bat. Raul Chamberlain. And it looks like, oh my dear, well, it seems to be. Uh, you know, we were watching it. Laboring uh, just a bit. day for Split P. Hammond coming out for an injury. Goop Gloppage coming in off the out of the bullpen. And it's a very it's a shame for the for the T Tartlers. But they will have to pick back up from where they left off. That is going to be a strikeout looking so right a backwards K in your Nothing. They see Jones for Cotton, that's going to find the gap right between the stop and the second base. 
baseman. It's going to be, well, that will be Yellow staying on for a single, but it is going to be another run batted in. An RBI single for Crispy Yellow, and with no outs. One and one the count. And that's going to be smashed by Moopy Pound Cake. And it's out for another home run. A two run home run. Moopy Pound Cake. And the top of the order for the T Tartlers. brought to you by industry brand fragrances perfumes and cologne but when you're out for a night of the town then you meet a fair lady and she enjoys your scent and ask what it is you can say my good dear my good dear my dear that is the smell of industry it's found wherever smells are sweet Two out with Ainsley Snakewacker. <clears throat> so the middle of the order has been uh, a little bit easier for, for Court. Brings up Dim Baron. So Snakewacker is on with a single. Again, after completely blanking, the D Tartlers on the first round. It's going to be another single. And it's going to be runners on the corners with two outs for Goop Lopage. We've got a high sky that one high up in the air. Should be an easy out. And well, here is the statistic that we don't like to hear here at the moment. Uh, the D Tartlers just bat batted around for the union. Nine batters. Six of them had hits. All six hits have come in that inning. But it is now four to nothing. Yeah. EDH's turn. Out. To respond, and already that has been a popped out by Orlando Dwin, who had no. the only hit of the game for EDH. No. And this is Bobson Dugnut. ABH is a solid fielding team that we've seen so far. As Dugout will walk. So runner on first for Glenn Allen Mixon. One out. And it's going to be perhaps very easy. Bang it. Right to Crispy Yellow. Ends the inning. Glenn Allen Mixon hits into the Fancy Dan double play. Brought to you, of course, by Fancy Dan. Some products put more fap in your quaff with Fancy Dan and their assortment of styling salves, uh, gelatin-based hair tools. Style your hair with gelatin, but what will they not think of? And of course, crimping powder, whatever that is. Batting a third time around here in the top of the fifth is <laughs> the T Tartars. That's a great over the shoulder catch by Willie Dustis for out number two. After Lando grabbed the sandalbags, the report of the first out here at the top of the fifth. And this is more like it so far, but of course, we're only two batters into this round, and that's going to be Crispy Yellow. His second hit of the game. He's on with another single. And with two outs, here is Moopy Pound Cake. And a welcome uh, zero on the board. Bringing up Mike Rock. 
Out number one. So Ainsley Snakewacker had a single in the fourth. Inside. Stranded on base, however, uh, that's all of that was after the scoring. First four in the order. And he's going to pop that one high up into foul territory. Willie does this with the catch. And a beautiful, beautiful night here at Amalgamated Baseball Grounds as it looks like Dave Glark will come in and Todd Gonzalez coming in for a glory stop. A pitching change. But also they go for the double switch. Hi. And an easy out recorded of Dim Barron. So that will bring us to the bottom of the sixth. with Raul Chamberlain coming to the plate. And he's going to get that right past the glove of Cowie Bangett. He's on with a single. And that is ABH's first hit since the first inning, since the first batsman of the game. So Gloppage, well, there's an attempt to steal, but it's going to be hit foul by Willie Dustis. Low in the order, number eight. However, and that looks like, well, it will not be enough to get the fancy down double play, but it is going to be an easy out of first. Bang it, the throw to yellow in time, out number one, but it does move Chamberlain to first. And here is Todd Gonzalez, who is going to get that one right up the middle, and it's going to be in time at home. He's in with a double. And it's now 4-1 for ABH with Orlando Dwin, one for two today. And he's going to walk Orlando Dwin, so Glavage, not a pick so far, but well, out number two for Robson Dugnut. Not had a very good day, he's over two. But he does move the runners to second and third, so that is Chamberlain on third. That is 
Zuba, that is uh, Gonzalez on third. That is Wim on second, and that's going to be right through the glove of Ren Bugby. Branding two, but one run recorded. So ABH no longer being blanked. However, they do in fact. They do in fact trail by three. And it looks like that is better thrusty. Coming in for Goop Glapage as a pinch hitter. So I believe that will be it for Mr. Glapage. He will, come, uh, he will take the bench and uh, Thrusty, I imagine, will have done his job. He is now one second with a... Inside. With a double, and we go back to the top of the order. No outs. Lavender Sandalbags <clears throat> at the home run in the fourth. Hi. And he's going to pop that one skyward. It should be easy. Calling everybody off is Gonzalez. He gets the catch, and it is out number one. <laughs> Keeping Thrusty at second. It is Umpty Pool. And just missing the glove of Gonzalez, it's going to go all the way out to Mike Crock, and it's going to be a single that will score one. The throw will not even be attempted. It is an RBI single for Umpty Pool, and he is two for four today. That is his first run back no. in for the day. Bringing up with one out, Crispy Yellow hits the. to hit to a fancy down double play to end this one. Big Peters will take the mound. For the T-Tartlers. And it is Mike Trock, his first batsman to face. Well, welcome to the Continental League, my good man. You're taking the down for the first time in this game. And you're facing... Your first bat, your first batsman you face, which you do get the out. So kudos to that. You in fact have to face the ha. the leading home run hitter of last season, and the out is recorded. So that so kudos to him for that. And it, however, my that is going to be Ortiz Ranchez on with a single. So that's his first hit of the game, and in comes Dean. Quest 3 as a pinch hitter. Too low. And a stolen base. Waiting for that right pitch is Dean Quest 3. Too high. will in fact fly that one out bring up Raul uh, Sleeve Redrosian coming in for the catcher Raul Chamberlain so this is again interesting to see you can see this tactic of one of the teams they've been using their catching spot as a pinch hit as well as Westry's day will be over and in will come Mario McElwain And yes, Mick Sriff will come in for Red Rosian to catch. So, not a team shooting that second catcher. They may have on their bench. And it's going to be a strikeout swinging of Moopy Poundcake bringing up Howie Bang It. Over two, but he did walk in the sixth inning, I believe. I'm looking at my statistics, right? No. Solid catch made by uh, made by Ranches. The throw to Dustis in time, and Mario McIlwain on seven pitches is at two outs here in the top of the eighth. Five to one score. Yeah. 
And it's going to be out number three. Which brings up Willie Dustis for ABH, bottom of the eighth. So ABH just running out of chances to really put the runs together. Wow. This has never felt like it was really coming alive for them today, but uh, yeah, it's going to be out number one right now. Oh, bang it. And the ball is in time. Inside. And that's going to be high and smashed. Industry. Well, that went high, that went far. Todd Gonzalez. Coming in off the bench. And he hits it high and far to Industry. Brought to you by Industry Brand Fragrances, Perfumes, and Colognes. Uh, no time to give that read for the moment. Orlando Gwyn is on with a double. His second hit for the day. He's two for three. And of course, uh, that is Industry Brands, Fragrances, Perfumes, and Colognes. Because nothing is as intoxicating Whoa. as the clean, fresh smell of Industry. Found wherever smells are sold. He's going to be not in time, and he gets win uh, with the fielder's choice at third. And it looks like Derry Hamper coming in for Fig Peters. Might be a uh, situational. And throws it, and he's going to be safe with the stolen base. Facing Glenn Allen Nixon. He's going to strike him out looking. That brings the run to an end for ABA. It is top of the ninth. 5 2. And that's going to get things started with a single. Ainsley Snakewacker, his second hit of the game, he's two for four. Uh, Dim Barron is one for three. And while the runner was stealing, he's going to sky that one and find it just short. It's actually going to bounce off the wall and be a, an RBI double for Dim Barron and make this now a 62 game. Hello. Gary Hamper will be coming in to just get the save. I don't, I don't think there's a save opportunity, however, that is going to be an easy out for Hamper. he needs to do for the most part. You know, this was, this does harken back to last season just a bit as that's going to be right to Willie Dustin from Gonzalez and bring an end to the inning. So one run will score in the top of the ninth. Chicago take the mound. Finalized and Nevada Escargo coming in at third base. That is very much a defensive substitution, and it's going to be one uh, one out away as well, already as Mike Crock was all for Inside. today. So Mike Crock unable to find that magic that we expect from him, and that's going to be Altis Ranchers. He's on with a single. That's going to go right, Jim Barron. It's going to miss the glove of Crispy Yellow. And Mario McIlwain coming out for Mike Sanandez. 
Sad way to end the game, Fancy Dan. Follicle products, put more pop in your quaff. With Fancy Dan, that was bringing into this game. And, well, goodness me, the amalgamated baseball holdings offense would just never get started. And it was the Chicago T Tartlers fielding and, most importantly, the pitching of Goop Gloppage, as well as coming in early for Split T Hammond, who left with an injury, who, again, pitching outstanding uh, before his injury. But that will do it for us here for tonight's game. That is the final score of the Chicago t Tartlers. Six runs, <clears throat> 11 hits. The home side amalgamated baseball holdings. Two runs, eight hits. The series continues tomorrow. Game number two of it. And I believe the... Do I have the... I do, yes. Tomorrow will be the third game of this series, the final game of the series, as the Aces both teams, Tim Wakedeal and Malort Jepson for Chicago, Tim Wakedeal, of course, for ABA, will take the mound, and that will conclude that series for these uh, these teams, splitting the series at one here at Amalgamated Baseball Town. Uh, after that, the Chicago Heat Hartlers and both, both teams will have a rest day on the 21st before Chicago head back home to host the Pittsburgh Presbyterians on the 22nd, while Amalgamated Baseball Holdings make the short trip down to Yonkers, New York, for a three-game series against the New York Haberdashers, an in-state rivalry, if there ever was one. The winning pitcher today is Luke Gloppage, going three and two-thirds innings. Uh, the loss goes to Sean Fakat, and, of course, Derry Hamper coming in for the save. That was the save of the of the season. I don't believe he's even a um, go to closer for them, but perhaps I am wrong. Uh, and of course, we thank our good friends, friends at the Amalgamated, uh, Amalgamated, at the Honeywitch Tobacco Company for providing us with, for sponsoring and providing us with the three finest dandies of the day. The third finest dandy is Umpty Pool from Chicago, going two for five with a double and run run about it in. Uh, the second finest dandy, Boopy Pound Cake, going one for four with a home run and two runs batted in. The finest dandy of the day, who is given a free carton of honey wheat cigarettes, is Todd Gonzalez coming off the bench, going two for two with a home run and a double, and batting in two runs in the process. He is the finest dandy of the day, uh, despite it being a losing effort. Uh, that is the Honey Wheat Tobacco Company, hand rolled cigarettes grown in the fabled tobacco roads of the Carolinas always reminding you to smoke wheat every day. So that is going to do it for us today. We will join, you can join us back here on WGY, Radio WGY is connected in New York for tomorrow's game as the Aces take the mound before Amalgamated Baseball Holdings go on the road yet again. Until then, I'm Pip Cleverly. I leave you with the reminder, please, ret please report to work tomorrow at your regularly scheduled time. Till then, good night.